Sydney and today I want to do a bit of a little clean with me slash small declutter throughout my room. Um, I don't know how much there will be to declutter because I feel like I've been doing pretty good on keeping up with that. So yeah, so I'm going to do some laundry folding, some tidying up in the room, and also just cleaning off some flat surfaces because everything, they can put something on there, something on it. So <laughs> let's get started. So starting outside the room, this is stuff that I've decluttered slash cleaned like a week ago. So I need to get rid of that. Um, so then walking into the room, that's the little green shelf that I want to go through. I had another fish tank on there, um, but we went ahead and combined all the fish into one tank. And so now that's a flat service that keeps adding up stuff tons of stuff over there so need to clean that off um need to make the bed get that stuff off the bed um it's my little nightstand so i want to reorganize that i think there's some stuff in there that i haven't used that i want to get rid of so this is also stuff i have this really bad habit of once i get stuff ready and i'm like decluttering i'll just leave it in my room because there's not like I don't know there's not like a ton of stuff so like that's trash that's all donate also i don't know if i showed you over here um we have our tvs so i need to clean off this space um so yeah let's do it The room's getting better, the floor's been picked up, and I've closed the closet, so 
it just always looks so nice when the closet's closed so it looks like there's so much more room in the side table uh, we're gonna clean it off and reorganize it because there's a lot of stuff going on there we need to figure out i have i actually got these um and got money back i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the app ibotta but it's like a cash back app so it gives you like a discount but you don't it's not like a coupon that you use at the store you use it you like scan your receipt and it gives you the money back and then once you get to like i think it's twenty dollars you can cash out which really if you are actually consistently using it it's not that difficult to do and i've cashed out before so you can get like gift cards or you can cash it out to your bank account so it's actually really easy to use and you get some money out you get to save some money so who doesn't like that i'll put my code I have like a code that you can use and you get something like a few dollars extra or something to start your account with. So I'll put that code in the description below. But let's start with the shelf. So I have my Kindle on here, which I've been using a lot. I have, it's this little devotional guide called Winning the War on Worry. I have my little notebook. I have another devotion devotional that I'm almost done with, my Bible in a year, my regular Bible, and then I just put this book over here because I just finished my book on my Kindle, so I was going to go ahead and start this book. Um, I'm just kind of switching in between from my Kindle to a regular book because I still have a few regular books left that I need to get through. Um, before I can, before I feel okay buying more books on my Kindle. <laughs> I have these little note cards, which they're like little encouragement cards I've used a few times. They were like sitting on my shelf, but they weren't getting used. So I moved them over here hoping to use them more and I really haven't. So <sighs> uh, I bought these a, such a long time ago too. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. I might see if anybody else in my family wants them. Um, or maybe we'll just put them like in the kitchen so that way anybody can use them because I haven't had a whole lot of time or energy or anything to like really use these specific cards for. So yeah. And then I have my chronological life application study Bible that I bought. I haven't used it yet. Um, so embarrassing but I really want to so keeping on my nightstand I think will help me be more apt to pick it up so we're gonna keep hoping for that I have some pins and highlighters for my Bible studies tons. those can probably go somewhere well I don't know I have a little bookmark I'm gonna use for my new book um there's a lot of cords this is my Kindle charger I have my like hard drive. I bought this stupid planner. I always like plant, use the planners. And I also had a bunch of these stickers that I've never used or anything that I was really into scrapbooking. Like I was gonna scrapbook and stuff and I just didn't. Um, and I only use January and it's May. So maybe I'll see if my sister wants this for school um, because I'm not using it. Modest. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on the bottom shelf still, keep it there. But I'm going to face it so that way I just see this portion every day and I can be like, oh, I really need to still read that and get my life together. So we'll do that. Get that organized in there and then I can put the cords and the hard drive behind that. So that way it just hides it, keeps it out of sight. The pins I'll put down on the second shelf as well. Um... And then I'll go ahead and put my notebook and my Lean the War on Worry devotional 
here because I actually haven't started that one, but I really want to do that one, so I want to keep it fresh in my mind. My Kindle, since I just finished the book and I'm not reading anything else right now, I'm going to put it on the second shelf as well. 